Dictionary.com has long since been the go-to website for quick, easy, and reliable definitions and synonyms. Today I will be reviewing the Dictionary.com Dictionary and Thesaurus app for iPhone. There are over 2 million definitions, synonyms, and antonyms available with no internet connection. However, a 3G or Wi-Fi connection is necessary for the hot word blog and the word of the day features. When you open the app, you're presented with the home screen. At the top, you can see the search bar and a small microphone next to that, allowing you to search through speech if you would like to. Below the search bar, we have the word of the day, which can actually be sent to you as a notification as well if you enable this in your iPhone settings. Tap the word of the day to read the definition, example sentences, and previous words of the day. There is also an option to hear the pronunciation of the word. You can select this as a favorite word, and you can even share this word with your friends via Facebook, Twitter, or email. If you head back to the home screen, you can tap the hot word blog to read the latest blog post and flick through previous posts. The blog is really interesting, and it's always worth a read. Back on the home page, tap the suddenly popular button. In this part of the app, you can see words that are trending worldwide, popular searches, and people who are making searches nearby. As you can see, there are many people around me making searches. The best part of this app is that it's simply to expand your vocabulary and kill time without wasting it. The remaining two icons in the middle of the home screen are links to purchase the fully comprehensive translator and thesaurus apps made by dictionary.com, although this is completely unnecessary as this app already includes thesaurus and translator functions that are more than adequate. The main dictionary and thesaurus function is simple and easy to use. Simply type or speak the word that you want to find into the search box, let's use application as example, and there you go. It's super simple to toggle between the dictionary and thesaurus functions by tapping on the orange T and then the blue D to get back to the dictionary. As with the word of the day, you can hear the word out loud, save the word as a favorite, and share it with your mates through social media. If we head back to the home screen, we can see our favorites, our recent searches, and access the translator function. This is a great app, as it works offline and gives you access to more than 2 million words. I really enjoy the word of the day features and the hot word blog, as they really do teach me a lot, and my vocabulary has certainly expanded since I started using this app. There are, however, a few small problems with the app. It costs $2.99 from the App Store, and the free version is full of advertisements with some of the key features disabled. Another issue is the latest update. It came at the end of March, and it's changed a lot within the app. Some of the changes are not so great, especially the change to the Word of the Day feature, which has basically been minimalized and has lost a lot of what made it great. Thanks for listening.